Okay guys, so I'm back and we are going to do my hair. Now last night I used the new Bamboo Smooth um, shampoo and conditioner, the one that came in that little kit that I showed you that's in that little packet. Then I used the thickening stuff that I showed you from the same line mixed in with their oil from the same line. And this is the hairspray, so we're gonna try it too. And um, I used a round brush. I used my, the tuxedo one for the sides, because these sides are so, they're twice as curly and frizzy as the rest of my hair. And um, just, I still use the um, brush lab brush for the rest of it, because it just seems to work through my hair easier. And um, so, <laughs> just to complicate things a little bit more and I have noticed too I used to be the type of person who first of all love 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 that hair turban the microfiber hair turban I know I told you I was going to go over that again I just love it maybe one day I will do um, a thing and show you everything but love that because it gets my hair even more dry and it's just it's perfect I take it out of that and I used to just put my product in and start blow drying my hair and the way I brushed it out was with my round brush but what I have been doing lately that I think I really like is I go ahead and use this and you can imagine how old this thing is I don't even know if they still sell them but I use my pick and I just go through my hair like that and um, get it brushed out first and then I do it so this morning I could just go um, like this would be fine with me really but I thought I would show you um, how what I would do if I wanted to get it curly. Okay, so the first thing I would do, like I always do, is take this little crown section. And I'm not really going to try to brush it out a bunch this morning because I still want to keep that kind of bedhead PC type look. I'm going to turn this light off and see is if it's a little bit better? better. There's no lights. That's strictly the sun right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take... Let me and up my camera some. Ah. There we go. I'm going to take this piece and I have not done this yet, but I'm going to spray it with this um, Kenra Platinum Hot Spray Protect and Finish number 20. And um, just give it a quick little spray. I'm not going to put too much because this is some serious stuff here. I'm going to use my hot as you don't know what um, two inch curling iron because I have had it turned up and I've had it on the whole time I was doing my tutorial so it would be good and ready when we got to this point. So I'm going to take it to the end and you can see it's leaving clamp marks because it is so daggone hot. I don't think I've ever gotten it this hot before which is a little scary and I'm going to just and then start see how I start releasing that um, thing. Okay this shows you how that stuff works. <laughs> So I'm going to let that cool for a minute, and I don't know, we'll have to see, I don't know if I'm going to use that on the very front or not. Okay, so then I take, basically I've got three sections that I use on the front of my hair. Um, and like I said, I don't like to comb it out, I just kind of go through it with my fingers so I can keep that, if you comb it out too much you'll get that fluffy hair again. I don't want that, I want to keep that more bedhead look. Okay, I'm going to spray just a little bit because it is a protector, but not too much right there. And I'm going to just curl this back. And then I already will start letting it out like that. Okay. Does this give you any indication how well this stuff right here works? So if you have hair that is hard to curl, matter of fact, who needs to pin it up now when you can do this? Okay, I'm not going to use that on these front pieces because I don't want them to be crazy. Okay, take these. Let's see if I can. This piece always, he can't decide if he wants to be a, a bang or a side piece. Okay, I'm going to take this and go all the, almost to the end and then do this back too. And because this um, curling iron is so big, that's why you get um, just a good flip back instead of. I always got so mad. I was like, how do girls just get their hair to flip back and not curl? 
Well, this is, I don't know if this is how they do it, but this is how I've been doing it, and it works well. So, in my hair, naturally, this piece always wants to do this, and this piece wants to curl back, and that's just, just the way it goes. Okay, since I have these up there so nicely with that freezing spray, I'm going to just take these side pieces and um, just curl them back a little bit. I'm not really trying to do that same style I did last time where it's, you know, just all over the place. I'm just going to kind of give it some life like that. And this hair style or whatever will last a good couple of days, especially with that daggone spray in there. And um, because now like tomorrow I'll put some um, dry shampoo probably at my roots. Let me pan down some now. Okay, so I'll take this end piece and go almost to the end, not all the way. And then just leave it in there for a minute and just, just enough to flip it, not enough to really try to curl it. And then get the rest. Put it back. Dexter, you need to go outside, baby. I think Bridget's driven Dexter out of here this morning. Let me I get back down and see Bridget peeking her head. What you doing, Bridgie? Can you <laughs> peeking her head out from under the covers? She had to see what I was doing. Okay, so now these pieces that are up here, um, I'm just going to take my hands and run it through like that. Okay, here we go. Here is a problem. You can see that it has given me lots of body, but it has kind of flattened out right here, which I do not want. So what I'll do is take this center piece and brush it through like that. And don't worry about getting that end in there. Just, um, you want to just kind of bounce that piece up again, like that. And get that fluffiness back up at your crown again. Like that. And then just, See, you want to get it, or it looks like you haven't tried a bit, you know, that you just kind of woke up that way. Okay, and I'm going to do one more piece, and I usually don't ever tease my hair. I know I could probably tease it right now and get it to stay up, but I don't know. I just can't stand that feeling. And to me, they always tease it when I get my hair done, and um, to me, that it doesn't last very long. Okay, so that is it. And I am going to, now, if you want your hair to really have that curl like that, um, the Hot Spray Protect and Finish, number 20, is what I used, Kenra. I'm really starting to like this Kenra brand. Okay, what I'm going to use now is the Anti-Humidity Hairspray with Organic Bamboo and Candy Oil and with Strong Sleek Frizz-Free Hair. Da -da -da -da. Okay. So what I would do now is just lift it up. Oh, it does make it shiny. Ooh, this doesn't smell that great. Like that. <laughs> just a little bit more. Just a little bit of hairspray. Okay, I am going to go put this stuff up, unplug this curling iron. I'll be right back with the outfit of the day. Day just. This is the little top that I just got at, um, <clears throat> let's see, Express, and I love it. I love the way the sleeves are real fitted, and it's so soft. It's so cozy. I'm going to definitely get some more of these. These are some yoga pants. I am in terrible need of some new yoga pants. You can see that they fade. These are the New York & Company. And the reason I like these is these are the, they have the flat, straight top, 
and these are small and long so I like that they're long enough and I just have on my regular flip-flops um, but I need some new ones I don't like the ones that fold over as much I want some like this so I'm gonna be on the hunt for those soon for accessories today I have on these little earrings that are BCBG and I love these just because they're they show up but they're posts they're my necklace to today is one that I have been wanting to show you guys for a while and I never had the right neckline on to wear it and it's from my name necklace it's the same company that I got my Lisa necklace from and here I'll put the I wanted you to see it how it hangs on my neck but um and it is the monogram necklace now what I did is I kind of made it into a, a mom's mother's necklace because instead of putting my initials I put Will and Brooke and then that's our D is for our last name and um, so I really like that and it's really pretty it's a good good weight I mean it's not like it's so thin you you're scared it's going to um, break or bend or anything and I just think it looks pretty <clears throat> So I love that. It's very interesting. I love script and my coach ring that has this script is one of my favorites because of that. Okay, and on. for accessories, I just have on this little butterfly ring. It's, um, I believe it's white gold and diamonds that John got me years ago. My wedding ring, the nail polish is the one I showed you yesterday from Face Stockholm. I got it at J. Crew, and it's called Plum Forgot. <clears throat> and the fragrance I have on today, I could not decide whether to put on my Prada candy, but I ended up putting on my Bond number no. 9. I love New York because I love that scent, and it's new, and I wanted to um, wear it today. I just felt like it. So if you want this necklace, I believe they're going to give a discount code, and I will put the link down below. Not sure what it is. I think it's just Lisa, Lisa D1, but I'll let you know for sure. And um, like I said, it's mynamenecklace.com, and I'll put that down below. And I'm not even sure of the price. I'll put all the information down below. But I love it. I think it's something that's really neat, especially, you know, to put your children's initials or yours or whatever. So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed these videos, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.